Here's a story that made my blood boil. In Georgia, parents let their teen son smoke marijuana in a desperate attempt to control his epileptic seizures. The state recognizes cannabis as a treatment for epilepsy, but they were charged with reckless conduct and child services took their son away. Wow. Matthew and Susanna Brill let their 15-year-old son David smoke. Um, get this, when he started smoking marijuana, he went 71 days without a seizure. Never happened before, had always struggled with seizures. But he started smoking, instantly fixed him. Um, his doctors were fine with it, everybody he knew was fine with it, except one person, his therapist. And the therapist ratted out the family and called the authorities. The authorities showed up, told me better stop smoking or else there's going to be consequences. He complied, stopped smoking, immediately started having seizures again. Immediately. So went back to smoking. What did they do? They came, took him away, and um, they said, oh, the parents are endangering the son, and now he's in a group home. This is one of those stories you almost don't believe it until you read it, and then as you read it, you're still having trouble digesting it, but it's real, man. This happened. This happened. And I think the most frustrating part is the police officers, when reporters kind of pushed the police officers on this, they doubled down. They were like, who's going to look out for the welfare of the kid? Who's going to look out for the welfare of the kid? Well, obviously not you, because if you're looking out for the welfare of the kid, he should be smoking marijuana to stop his seizures. Unbelievable. People have warped their minds into believing the most ridiculous shit. Namely, that marijuana is by definition bad, so therefore if you do it, there are no ameliorating circumstances. You know, there's no facts on the ground that can override the pre-existing um, uh, conception I have of what weed is and that it's bad. So it's just, they take a one-size-fits-all belief and just throw it on everything. And that one-size-fits-all belief is, Mommy and Daddy done told me marijuana's bad, and we gonna punish people who do it. Fuck off. How about that? How about this kid needs it to stop his goddamn seizures? And by the way, even if he didn't, you shouldn't take it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine going around and taking the kids away from uh, their parents if they, you know, whatever, they're in their teens and they smoke weed, and the parents are like, well, what am I going to do? Can you imagine? I'm just going to take the kid away because the kids smoke weed and you didn't totally stop it. The fuck is this shit about? Listen, man, we gotta legalize tax and regulate weed. It's not it's not okay to just have it legal for medical purposes. It's not okay to just decriminalize it. We gotta legalize tax and regulate it at a federal level, and we gotta stop these bullshit situations from happening. How many people have lost their lives? How many people are permanently locked up, are in jail for life for nonviolent drug offenses? That, that exists, by the way. That exists. Obama pardoned a lot of them at the end of his time in office and commuted a lot of their sentence at, at the end of his time in office. We still have so many people locked up for nonviolent drug offenses that'll never get out. And we get shit like this happening all the time. This is collective insanity is what it is. And any reasonable person who looks at this story will come to the same conclusion. The real criminals here, it's the law enforcement people. It's not the family. It's not the kid. It's the law enforcement people. Just because they wear a badge doesn't mean they're by definition correct.